welcome back friends hope you are doing well so today today i am with another subject that is heat transfer 18 me 63 is the subject code for this subject as most of the students students are struggling for this subject how to pass how to score in this subject let me tell you friends in this video without wasting a time so let me start first i will tell you which module you should attempt first and which module is easier in which you can score 20 marks so my dear friends first of all you go through go for the module 3 just because it is an easier module and also uh, in this uh, module there are two parts one is heat conduction part and another is thermal radiation so go for this part two that is thermal radiation uh, in which you have to cover some topics like venus displacement law planck's law kirchhoff's law and lambert's law which is also called the lambert's cosine law and stephen's uh, Boltzmann law okay friends so this is one of the most important question from this uh, particular type that is thermal radiation so 10 marks it will carry over there so my dear friends go for this uh, these definitions these laws over there then after uh, some de definitions are there that is black body gray body transparent opaque like that definitions you have to cover over there then after one uh, another part is there so discuss on the radiation shape factor and also numerical on radiation part let me tell you friends these 20 marks are just in your pocket uh, sometimes they are uh, asking theory uh, 20 marks theory in this particular module and sometimes 10 marks uh, numerical problem on that particular radiation just go for that so that you can easily score 20 marks in this particular third module over there so my dear friends then go for the module fifth it is also the easier module uh, as there are some uh, derivation part uh, and also there are some uh, theory concepts so first of all uh, classification of heat exchanger as per the video syllabus i am uh, telling you you people so that in that uh, two parts are there one is boiling and another is heat exchanger part so go for part one that is heat exchanger and it is a little bit easier than that boiling uh, point of view so then after uh, derivation of lmtd logarithmic, logarithmic mean temperature difference uh, for parallel and counter flow heat exchanger okay my dear friends with the assumptions you have to write uh, the derivation sometimes they ask a parallel flow exchanger sometimes they ask a counter flow so there are two possibilities in this particular question that is lmtd for parallel flow and counter flow heat exchanger okay then numericals on above mentioned heat exchanger whatever will be the uh, what we call the heat exchanger where there may either may be parallel either may be counter flow so on that basis there will be some problems once you derive the equation you will automatically get uh, those type of equations which you can use in that particular numericals were there so okay then with need sketch uh, regimes of pool boiling process it is actually in the second part but uh, in uh, i think uh, august 22 paper uh, they have asked in this question and in particular one part so just go for this also so that you will not lose uh, marks in this particular fifth module so also you can score 20 marks in this fifth module my dear friends if not uh, 20 possible then uh, definitely 10 marks you will easily score in this particular module fifth then module first so go for module first friends there are also two parts uh, whichever you uh, whichever is convenient to you people so uh, so that i can discuss here only the content part so that whichever uh, you may prefer over there it is up, up to your choice so in the uh, first part there are modes of heat transfer that is conduction convection radiation uh, you already aware of that so derivation of 3d heat conduction equation is there in cartesian coordinate system with assumptions they may ask sometimes in uh, what we call the spherical and cylindrical uh, coordinate system also so go for that particular derivation it is one of the most important question in this particular module and also this one modes of heat transfer then initial and boundary conditions for heat transfer analysis this is another part so then governing laws of heat transfer uh, uh, you may aware of that uh, conduction convection and also governing laws for that particular modus of transfer you have to also prepare you have to also prepare over there so then in our part there are explain three kinds of boundary conditions and also expression is there expression for heat transfer in composite slab with assumptions i am preferring you people just go for first part just there are modes of transfer you may be aware of that and like uh, what we call the numerical part also you have to go there steady state so uh, this will be your much more convenient part i am telling about this part that is modes of heat transfer and derivation of 3d heat conduction okay so go for the first part in this particular model model first then after model 2 comes so my dear friends this is a most important question in the module second derivation of expression for temperature distribution for long fin state assumptions it is almost uh, asked in two, uh, two or three papers in the vtu as far as vtu examination is concerned so this is one uh, what we call as more uh, more probable question from this uh, module two it will be asked so then 
fin efficiency and effectiveness theory is there go for that derivation and also go for the significance for these fin efficiency and effectiveness then uh, the temperature distribution and heat transfer calculation as you are already aware of these uh, particular problems temperature distribution and heat transfer calculations in uh, finite element method so uh, in this uh, heat transfer subject you have to use the heat transfer methods uh, so you have to calculate numericals on that particular basis so then after the classification of fins comes in this particular content model 2 so in our part they may ask you expression for temperature distribution of solid in lumped heat transfer analysis in dimensional numbers and also biot number and Fourier number its significance is most important so whichever is the convenient part for you you just go through so uh, according to me the first uh, first part of this model 2 is uh, much more convenient to you people if you go through go through the all contents in this particular model that is m2 my dear friends so that you can score not uh, 20 uh, but definitely 10 marks you can easily score okay then model 4 you have to go through the model 4 in the module 4 there is a, there are two topics that is for forced convection and also a free convection is there according to my personal experience so i am telling you that uh, go for the free convection as it is the easier part than the forced convection okay so uh, i will discuss the content in also forced convection and free convection so first of all in forced convection the important question is the boundary layer okay boundary layer developed over plate so velocity boundary layer is there so formation of boundary layers thermal and hydrodynamic uh, hydrodynamic uh, layers or boundary layers are there so go through these type of boundary layers definitely they will ask some boundary layers like velocity thermal and hydrodynamic okay and numericals also then in part uh, second you just go through this uh, free convection part in this they will ask you the significance of Nusselt number Reynolds number Prandtl number and uh, Grashof's number okay this is one uh, one of the most important questions as far as this uh, module 4 is concerned then after correlation for they will ask you uh, obtain correlation for natural convection process on the basis of dimensional analysis and significance of any two pi terms related to the above which you will get in this particular uh, expression so then you have to write down the significance then uh, problems on that basis uh, free convection basis okay my dear friends uh, so, uh, and some definitions are there that is laminar and turbulent flow vertical plates vertical tubes and horizontal tubes go through this uh, particular content over there so that you may uh, score in this uh, particular module so my dear friends if you want to pass this uh, particular subject then go for first module third module third and then module fifth and then module one these are the three modules uh, by which you can pass the subjects if you want to score then go through whole modules and prepare some numerical part prepare some theory part so that you can easily pa uh, pass this particular subject i hope this uh, video is beneficial for you people my dear friends so uh, just share it with your friends so that more and more students get uh, benefited from this video and also don't forget to like and subscribe this channel thank you